Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Whitney here from Lorraine. How are my wizards doing today? We are going to learn a little bit about Daniel Boone. So sit back, relax, get comfy and cozy, and I'm going to read you a really kind of cool story about Daniel Boone. And then tomorrow, you're going to do a little bit of a pair deck for me. So hopefully some of your teachers have already gone over pair decks, but I have all the information given to you in that pair deck. So you shouldn't have any problems. So tomorrow when you sign on to Schoology for your asynchronous time with Mrs. Whitney, there's going to be a Google slide presentation there where you can listen to a book about Daniel Boone, and then you can also do your pair deck with one question. Okay. So hopefully you're going to be able to sit back, listen. Let me hear those ears. Oh, I can hear them. That's awesome. So are you ready to hear about Daniel Boone? First of all, how many of you have ever heard of Daniel Boone? Oh my gosh, yes, I see everybody's hand because Daniel Boone grew up in Reading, Pennsylvania. How many of you knew that? Yeah, and some of the pictures that I have on my screen right there you probably have already visited or at least know about. So they're great historical places. So here we go about Daniel Boone. He was born in 1734. He died in 1820 and he was known best for being a pioneer. Daniel Boone was a pioneer who spent his life exploring and settling new parts of the country. As a child, Daniel Boone grew up outside of Reading, Pennsylvania. When he was 10 years old, he and his mother went to live near a pasture each summer so he could tend to the cows. Daniel did not go to school very often because of the work he did to help his family. When Daniel was 16 years old, his father moved the family to what is now the state of North Carolina. Daniel spent most, most of his time hunting and trapping animals. He traded their fur for salt and other items that the family needed. Daniel Byrne heard all about the land of Kentucky beyond the mountains. He found a trail through the mountains that went to the area around the Kentucky River. Few settlers lived there. Then he helped other people settle areas of Kentucky. He and 30 other men built up this trail to make it easier for settlers to travel. This new trail was called the Wilderness Road. Because of Daniel Boone's work, many settlers came to live in Kentucky. So boys and girls, he was so cool in instrumenting all of these different places that he could tear down forests and build forts and different things like that. And you'll learn about that tomorrow in some of our books. But what he was best known for boys and girls, was not Daniel Boone's school, but he was best known for being a pioneer, making way for other people who were able to live in certain areas that nobody had ever lived in before or very few people had lived in before. So his greatest accomplishment is, in life was to be that pioneer and be that first person to go out and do something. So the life's lesson here, boys and girls, is that if you think that you can do something to better yourself, your family, your community, then do it. Don't say that you can't do it. Do it. Daniel Boone is now very, very famous for just pioneering a new way of living and, and making trails so other people can go. Now we use cars, but back then we used, we, they used covered wagons. They used, um, horseback. They would get on their horses and, and have buggies behind them. So he was very, very good about that. So let that be a lesson to you, boys and girls. You can do whatever you want to do, whatever you set out to do. And here's the great thing about it. Did you hear in there when it said that Daniel Boone did not attend school very often? He didn't go to school very often, boys and girls. And look what he was able to accomplish. Think about you. You're going to school for a long time. Think about all the possibilities you can do in order to make yourself better, 
your community better, better for your family. Okay? So a couple things that are important about Daniel Boone. He was born in 1734 and died in 1820. He was a pioneer. He grew out, grew up outside of Reading, Pennsylvania. His father moved the family to North Carolina. He hunted and he trapped animals and he traded their fur for salt and other things that their family needed because back then they didn't have a lot of money. And Daniel and 30 men built up a trail in Kentucky and that trail was called the Wilderness Road. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed a little bit about Daniel Boone today. And then tomorrow, you're going to get on that Google slide presentation. There's only four slides, but each slide is very, very important. You need to make sure that you're watching and looking at all of them so you can answer the Pear Deck on the very last slide. Okay, boys and girls, have an incredible, incredible day, and I will see you next week.